millions of Americans will see what a partisan sham this whole thing is. Rush Limbaugh at Fox and Friends. Also, why is corrupt politician Sif allowed to hand over cross-examination to a high-priced outside lawyer? Did that lawyer ever work for me, which would be a conflict? The Democrats have stacked the deck against President Trump and the Republicans. They have leaked out everything. At Steve Ducey. At Fox and Friends. Nancy Pelosi cares more about power than she does about principle. She did not want to go down this road. She realizes this is a huge loser for Democrats. The founders envisioned the worst people being in politics, yet they couldn't envision this. You have these people taking the most powerful tool the legislative branch has, impeachment, and they've turned it into a political cudgel, which is not at all what the founders intended. When you hear Sif use all these words like quid pro quo, it is because they can't specify that Donald Trump broke any laws or did anything wrong, and they have to move away from quid pro quo because there was no quid, and there was no quo. Ukraine got its money, three weeks early, and there was no investigation. At Charles Hurt. At Fox and Friends. Never Trumpers. Read the transcript. Retweet. New hoax. Same swamp. At Representative Adam Sif's sham hashtag impeachment hearings begin today. But make no mistake, Democrats have been out to get the president since he took office. Democrats know that if they don't impeach the president, he will be re-elected. I'm concerned that if we don't impeach this president, he will get re-elected. I support impeaching this president. I will fight every day until he is impeached. It may well produce impeachment. We're going to go in there, we're going to impeach the mother you begin impeachment proceedings now. We are introducing articles of impeachment to remove President Trump from office. I rise today, Mr. Speaker, to call for the impeachment of the president. You guys are going to be in a situation where you would have to possibly take a vote on the impeachment of Donald Trump. Would you vote yes or no? I would vote yes. I would vote. I would vote. Impeach 45! And page 45. And page 45. Don't forget. Retweet. Four inconvenient facts for the Democrat impeachment fantasy. Call transcript shows zero link between aid and political investigations. Aid was released without any new investigations. Ukraine didn't know aid was withheld during the call. Trump. Zelensky both say, zero pressure. Retweet. Today, America will see one party try and overturn the constitutional election of a president of the United States of America, a goal since. At real Donald Trump. Was elected. At Trish Regan. Hashtag impeachment hoax hashtag impeachment day. Uh, Trish, I, I couldn't agree more. I, I see it every single day on Capitol Hill. And tomorrow, the American people are going to see it more than ever before as one party seeks to overturn the constitutional election of a president of the United States of America. These Democrats have been trying to accomplish this since the day President Trump was elected, but that's not just what they stand for. I mean, you look at the debate stage with these Democrat presidential candidates. The Democrat Party is the party that wants to abolish the Electoral College. They want to expand and pack the Supreme Court with liberal uh, activist Supreme Court justices. They want to legalize illegal border crossings and abolish ICE. They want to allow 16-year-olds to vote. They want to send uh, people door to door and confiscate our firearms. And now on top of all that, 
They want to overturn the election of a sitting president, who, by the way, Trish, has been the, the best president of my lifetime in putting the American worker first and focusing on the values of, of the heartland of America, which is, is where I represent. So tomorrow that's going to be on, on TV for the entire country to see. They're going to see what I see every day, and it's not pretty. Not just minutes after President Trump took his oath of office on Inauguration Day 2017, The Washington Post ran a piece ushering in the beginning of his impeachment. The Democrats have attempted to undo the 2016 election results since day one. This latest push is no different. Retweet. This is a sham. Democrats are refusing access to important witnesses. The president's legal counsel is not allowed in the room. Chairman Adam Siff controls everything. Reminder, the chairman was caught misleading a reporter about communication with the whistleblower, barely four weeks ago. Fact check, neither Ambassador Taylor nor George Kent have first-hand knowledge of a quid pro quo from the president. We must hear from the whistleblower. Adam Siff just claimed he doesn't know the whistleblower's identity. He deliberately misled the public about his office's connection with the whistleblower and reportedly knew about the complaint before it was filed. Watch. At Devin Nunes. Colon after vowing publicly that impeachment requires bipartisan support, Democrats are pushing impeachment forward without the backing of a single Republican. Dot. At Jim underscore Jordan. To Chairman Sif, of the 435 members of Congress, you are the only member who knows who the whistleblower is, and your staff is the only staff who has had a chance to talk with that individual. We would like that opportunity. When might that happen? They're trying to stop me, because I'm fighting for you. And I'll never let that happen. President at real Donald Trump. What's going on now is the single greatest scam in the history of American politics. The Democrats want to take away your guns. They want to take away your health care. They want to take away your vote. They want to take away your freedom. They want to take away your judges. They want to take away everything. We can never let this happen. We're fighting to drain the swamp, and that's exactly what I'm doing. And you see why we have to do it because our country is at stake like never before. It's all very simple. They're trying to stop me because I'm fighting for you, and I'll never let that happen. Sif isn't even trying to hide it. He is the prosecutor, judge, jury, witness coach, and lead storyteller of this kangaroo court. He'll burn the whole house down to take POTUS out. Charges don't actually matter. Facts don't actually matter. Evidence doesn't actually matter. If Sif doesn't know who the whistleblower is, how can he protect his identity? Cover up. Meet the star witnesses Adam Sif called today. Neither have any first-hand knowledge. Neither spoke to. At real Donald Trump. One got his info from the New York Times. This hearing is a sham. Read the transcript, an actual first-hand account. It shows nothing impeachable. Sif has emerged from his bunker to put on a public show. But the facts haven't changed. At real Donald Trump. And Zelensky both say there was no pressure. Ukraine got the aid. There were no impeachable offenses. This is a sham. I'm concerned that if we don't impeach this president, he will get reelected. Re and we're going to impeach the <laughs> I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. The candidates are pulling the Democratic Party to the left. Are you guys ready for a radical idea? Call me a radical. First thing I do is going to repeal this Trump tax cut. As you say, the party is moving that way. You consider yourself a capitalist. <laughs> Democrats have given up on capitalism, looking towards socialism for the answers. 
all the 2020 front runners have embraced radical ideas. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. They're not willing to go to work, but they're going to get paid anyway. Well, that sounds like outright socialism. Socialism. Together, we will make America wealthy again. We will make America strong again. We will make America proud again. And we will make America great again. Today, at House Democrats, hijacked our Adways means cont hearing room for their political impeachment circus. Their obsession with removing at rear Donald Trump has superseded lowering hash Rx prices for seniors, passing hash Uzmka, and addressing an impending social security crisis. At Ways and Means GOP Under At House GOP Majority, there At Ways and Means GOP Hearing room was used to improve the lives of Americans with things like hash gop tax cuts and combating the opioid crisis. Today, it's being used as the backdrop for a partisan charade to overturn the will of the American people. Watch at Rep. Adam Seif changes the rules in the middle of his hash impeachment hearing. We're not surprised. Seif's impeachment circus has been rigged from the start. Their star witness knows nothing. Hashtag impeachment hearings. At Jim Jordan. At Representative Adam Seif. Is the only member of Congress who knows the identity of the whistleblower who started this entire sham. Watch. Democrats ask star witness about alleged quid pro quo. Star witness admits he has no first-hand knowledge of the issue. Yet another flop from the Dems. Days since. At Rep. Adam Seif. Learned the identity of the whistleblower, 93. No first-hand knowledge. Never spoke to President Trump. Never spoke to Rudy Giuliani. Never spoke to Mick Mulvaney. Never inquired about Ukrainian meddling in 2016 election. How can anyone have confidence in at Rep. Adam Seif, star impeachment witness? Listen to at Jim Jordan. Review the unbelievable amount of hearsay these allegations are based on. Spread it far and wide. This is what Washington Democrats are impeaching on? Seriously? What I can do here for you today is tell you what I heard from people. The Dems star witness just said he had no first-hand knowledge and is relying on hearsay for his testimony today. So why are we still here? Time to end this pointless charade. Thank you. At Franklin Graham. Dot it is a time of shame for our country. The Democrats know what they are doing is wrong. This was an abject failure for the Democrats and for Adam Seif. At Elise Stefanik. We've got six people having four conversations in one sentence, and you just told me this is where you got your clear understanding. At Jim Jordan. Hashtag impeachment sham. Dot. At Representative Chris Stewart. Colon. Welcome to year four of the ongoing impeachment of President. At Real Donald Trump. If your impeachment case is so weak that you have to lie and exaggerate about it to convince the American people that they need to remove this president, then you've got a problem. Great question by At Rep Ratcliffe. Dot no answer given hashtag impeachment sham. Aid was delayed by just 55 days. During that time, we verified that President Zelensky was the real deal. Wow. So sad. Shifty Sif cuts off. At Elise Stefanik. 
for wanting to enter the actual transcript of the July 25th call between President Trump and President Zelensky into the record, because Sif I Sif mischaracterized and lied to the American people. Hashtag Sif Show. Hashtag Impeachment Sham Hashtag Sif Show. Moments ago. Mr. Kent affirmed Ukraine has a long-standing history of corruption. And President Trump was deeply skeptical of this corruption. The President has a duty to Americans to make sure their taxpayer dollars are being spent responsibly. After the call, Ambassador Taylor met with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky the very next day. President Zelensky said, the call was fine. I was happy with the call. Wow! Was just told that my son's book, Triggered, is number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Congratulations Don!